So these cool AI VFX tricks that you have just watched are all generated with the AI. And probably you have already seen these kind of videos on the internet, but in this video I'm gonna show you how to make them. So this is all possible because of the new version of Pika Labs Pika 1.5. So if you're not familiar with the Pika Labs, this is one of the earliest competitor of Runway ML and this was one of the earliest AI video generator tool. And it's been a while they haven't done anything new but now they came up with a new update and this is super cool. So first of all let's take a look on some of the pre-generated videos. So this is the video with a prompt a long board races downhill on a winding mountain road the wind whistling past her hairs. And to be honest this is a very good generation. Yes, Yes, there is something wrong with her hands and you can see the her feet are also not uh, you know aligned properly for the skating board but if we look at the environment around her this is super consistent but there is some kind of issue on the left side when uh, she turns uh, that mountain turns into you know kind of a desert but overall this is a very good generation and next we have this video where you can see the time stops and the prompt was bullet time short 360 camera circling around the floating furniture and this is a very cool concept yes one leg is missing in this chair and the furniture looks you know uh, it looks like a wood but uh, you can see a lot of things are not you know looking good at all but if we look at the shot itself it is a really good shot and next we have this video with the prompt dolly into a chameleon is doing push-ups and this chameleon is really looking like he's doing a push-up well he's not bulky at all look at his legs i think this dude skips the legs day but anyway this is a good video and next we have this video without any description and it looks like someone is you know iceland or somewhere you know in the mountains but if we look at the eye movement if you look at the background is super blurred and the person is in the focus this is a good generation i don't have any complaints with this one this is a really good and realistic looking video and next we have this video it looks like a taken eight character but the prompt was he's making a hand heart and it follows the description accurately you can see he's making a heart sign with his hands and uh, as we all know that ai always mess up with the hands but in this one it performed really well he's making a heart sign with his hands and we don't have any funkiness we don't have any morphing effect going on this is a very good video it could be a cherry pick but this is good video but all of these are the normal text to video and how do we make those kind of vfx shorts that you have just saw in the beginning of this video so here we have an output just for an example where we have a picture of a washing machine and then the hands are squishing it and it looks very satisfying so obviously they have improved their text to video model but the thing that is making a lot change that is Pika effects. So you can see this button Pika effects. So if I click on that, you can see we have different kind of filters: inflate it, melt it, explode it, squish it, crush it, and then we have the Kakeify it. So to try these effects, you have to upload your image. So let's try this image. And next you have to select the effect that you want to apply. So let's apply the inflate it, and this will automatically select this and hit generate. All right, so here is the output and this stone is, you know, turning into a balloon and I thought this panda will turn into, you know, balloon and float in the air, but this is opposite of that. But overall, this is not a bad video. This is just for fun. Now let's try to melt somebody. So this is the image uh, of a person. Now let's try to melt this. And here is the output. It reminds me of a Terminator movie uh, with the enemy, you know, made of a metal that melts and again turn into a terminator this is that kind of thing but this is cool stuff well the melting is okay but don't try to explode someone oh what is this oh my god this is disgusting why does it feel like a the boys series where you know homelander destroys everyone and this is very disgusting look at that and on the same point it is very good so if you are trying to make any short film or you know where someone is shooting with the RPG you can make this VFX and it looks very cool. By the way you can also prank with your friends images. So there are a couple of more effects like squish it, explode it, crush it and we also have the cakeify it where the things gets into turns into a cake. But how to make that continuous short that you saw in the beginning of this video. So let's say I have this movie scene here. So just stop the video where you want to apply the effect and then save the image or you can even take a screenshot and then get back to the Pika Labs and upload your image and select the effect that you want to apply. So in my case, I want to explode this car. So select the explode and hit generate. All right. So this was the output. And now I just need to download this. And next, just open any video editor. I'm using the CapCut because this is free. And then import both of your files, your original and the VFX one. Now, just play the video and apply a split cut where you want to apply that effect and then add the VFX video to the timeline and then if I play this video you can see 
we have that cool animation so you can also try this thing with the humans with different objects it all depends on you and one more thing that i want to add that pika lab again introduced their free plans so you can generate around 10 videos in a free plan so that's it from today i hope you enjoyed this one and if you like these kind of cool tips and tricks about ai make sure to subscribe the planet ai